Hi, it's Andrew at Gongs Unlimited, and today we're having a little video that I'm entitling Healing the Space Before You Do a Sound Healing. And what I mean by that is healing the space, whether you're going to be in a room, your own bedroom, uh, at a yoga studio, maybe you're in there just for, you're the person that comes in and does the gong healing, or maybe you're even doing it out in, I've seen people do healings in Central Park in New York, but they still have a space that they're using there. Maybe you're at the beach in Venice, California. It's funny, I love, I used to live there and I, uh, I see now people doing uh, gong healings where I used to just you hang out and uh, meditate. So it's kind of fun. So I'm here today with my good friend, uh, the Broder Otkin 36 inch Tree of Life gong. And I'm going to use that during this meditation. Uh, you don't have to use a gong when you're preparing to do your gong healing, but we're gonna talk about that. Um, and so the first thing you wanna do is you need to center yourself. Before you heal the space you're gonna be in, you need to center yourself. Maybe you've just driven in and you've got 10 minutes to set up your stuff and whatever else. You know, give yourself an extra few minutes to uh, do that. So the first step we're gonna do is called grounding. And that's connecting yourself to the center of the planet. So what I suggest you doing is you close your eyes, notice your body. You're not your body, but notice it. And I want you to imagine from your first chakra, the root chakra that some of you call it, down to the center of the planet, a connecting energy, energetic line. It could be a tree trunk, it could be the tube, it could be something. And don't worry about the perspective, you know, just put, it should be around, maybe a foot around you, this grounding cord, connected to your first chakra and just hook it into the center of the planet. You can imagine the center of the planet however you want, like lava, like whatever, but you're just creating just an energy line. And that energy line is going to start to release energy from your aura and your body. The stress of getting ready, the attention points of maybe the clients that are coming, their demands, and just allow that to release. You don't get yourself back in the center of your head. Maybe imagine yourself behind your eyes. You don't have to go down to the center of the planet to do it. And just allow that energy to release. The grounding cord will do it. Imagine maybe if there's someone that called you up right before this, or you had a problem that day, just imagine it going down there. And I want you to imagine yourself behind your eyes in the center of your head. That's your controlled space. That's like you driving the car. Beautiful. And just let your aura start to come around you. Start to call yourself back. And before you do anything else, I want you to imagine above your head, while you're still in here, imagine above your head, a beautiful gold ball of energy that is just a magnet for everywhere you left your energy recently. Maybe you left it, you had an argument with a cashier. Maybe you uh, were really upset at a bus driver. Maybe you were on the phone with a relative and you were really consoling them. Whatever it is, just let your healing energy, let your energy come back right above your head. Is that a good thing to do, Gong? Gong says yes. And then just imagine that energy turning to a beautiful gold and coming back in through your crown chakra into your body. You're preparing yourself to prepare your space. You may do any other number of ways to center yourself before a, a, a gong healing or a sound healing. This is just one other way. Bring yourself here. If you need to take some extra time doing it, you can pause this and do that. Practice this, practice it at home before you get there. Now, the next thing you wanna do is prepare the space around you the same way you just healed yourself. Now I know it's kinda of cool to run around with a bunch of sage dancing around the room and doing that, but you know what's really happening with all that? You're doing it and you're just asking healing guides and energy, you're sort of doing a little prayer and asking people to do it. You, well, this is a way to do it without lighting something on fire and, and um, you know, uh, making it smell a certain way. And it's actually a little bit more effective because you're actually being more in charge of the energy versus like, I'm waving it and I'm hoping they're all going. Oh, the amount of times I've almost been hit by smudge sticks in my face. So what I want you to do is now cut with your eyes closed kind of imagine the space you're going to be in. Now, you could even do this before you get there. You don't have to do it right there. You can imagine this before. It's like if you're going out to a place on the beach or 
you're going to a yoga studio and you're going to be there in like, you know, an hour away, you can imagine it however you like. But imagine that space with your eyes closed. I'm going to do this room that I'm in right now, though I've done it already today. And I'm imagine I'm going to connect this room, the floor of it, to the center of the planet. Nice, strong grounding cord, because I'm grounded and now the room is. And I'm going to actually imagine that grounding cord then going up to the ceiling. Now, this is all in your mind's eye. But people don't realize how powerful visualization and, emo and imagining is. Now, you're not using your energy to do it. You're not going, I'm going to, I'm going to be grounded. You're literally just saying hello to it. And as a spirit, creating it. Now, I'm going to let that energy connect to the center of the planet, this room. When I'm watching, I'm seeing a lot of stress come out of the room. We've had a lot of stress here as we've changed. You imagine what you see, what you is coming out of your room. Is it a color? I made this grounding cord, by the way, a beautiful kind of blue, clear blue. And what's coming out is a lot of purples and blacks. And they're just like stresses, arguments, can, things, just things that just sit in the space. But I don't want them here. You wouldn't want them in, if you're creating a space. Maybe if you're in a yoga studio, well, there's three other classes that are in there and they're making all kinds of mess. So just let that start to ground. Again, there's no effort. It's a spiritual tool. Now, the next thing you want to ground, so the last thing we're releasing from, are your instruments, your mallets, maybe using bowls. Maybe you have like a set of bowls, like, oh, I like it, but this, I want something better. And you put some energy on it. Or maybe you're like, this gong, I love it, but there was this creepy guy in the last class who got all into my gong thing and left an energy. Or maybe it's just kind of like you've lost some enthusiasm and that's in the energy. Everything is energy. So I want you, with your eyes closed again, imagine grounding all your instruments all your communication devices. They are just the thing that help create the sound energy. So I'll ground this, I'll ground this beautiful Broder gong. We haven't used it for much. And I connect it to the center of the planet and I smell it. And this is kind of interesting because this gong hasn't been sold yet. We just took it out for the video. And it really hasn't had its energy, for lack of a better term, ignited by a player, by a user. So I see it's kind of very much in abeyance. But, like many a Broder item, who is a Leo, by the way, Broder Rocket, it wants some attention. And so we're giving it some attention today. It's a pretty little gong. And I'm grounding it, and as I see that's happening, I can see the energy of it starting to get more full. Now, if this is just a gong that hasn't even been used yet, imagine the instruments that you've been carting around and some days you play them and you're not in a good space or sometimes people are like, oh man, I love that guy. You know, they've left energy. So this is something you do even if you're not setting up your room is grounding your instruments. So take a moment. Let them be connected to the center of the planet. Let them release what's not, doesn't need to be there. Now, you've grounded everything, but it's kind of at a plateau. You want to fill it up. You want to fill up your space with what you need. So the first thing is go back into the center of your head. Be there. Make sure your grounding is working. And I want you to start to bring in another big energy of what you want for your session today. Imagine a big ball of energy above you. That's like, do you want certainty? You want to be better? Do you want a lot of um, great communication? Do you want discovery? What do you want for yourself when you're playing that session? Even if you're not having anyone there, do you want a great healing? Do you want to feel better physically? Bring that in. For me, I'm bringing in that my communication helps some people. I want to be a healer more, so I want to help people with this. I'm bringing that in. Take a second again if you have to get that right. Of course, the next step is 
what do you want in this space? What do you want in your healing area, whether it's outside, inside, personal for a group? I want you to imagine that room and imagine a beautiful, even a picture, a picture that's so full of energy of what you want. Like perhaps you want groundedness. Maybe you're doing an event that just happened after an earthquake. Maybe you want amusement because the people need to be in a, a gentler space. Maybe you want insight. Maybe you want um, hugely successful healings, breakthroughs, miracles, whatever it is. Pour that into your room. Let it fill up your room. Let's see what this room is. Now, I don't work in this room all the time. My video people do, so I'm going to kind of look at their energy and see what they want to have in this room. They want a lot of cooperation, like kind of camaraderie um, and success. So I'm filling up this room with that energy. Yeah, it just became very golden and green. It's really nice. And your instruments. I'm not going to fill this one up too much because it's up to the person who's going to buy it. But I'll just say in general, if I was to fill up the mallets with energy, because they're all energy, um, they just want some enthusiasm. Fill that up. Now, the last thing to set your space. I know I've been talking a lot. Hope I haven't talked off your ears. The last thing is hooking up the space and yourself to the divine force. Be it God, whatever you want to call it, supreme being, whatever term you like, the creator, I'm going to let you have your terms you like. But you want to hook that up and, and ask both you and your room and your healing event to be filled up with the energy that you may not have been conscious of. Like, you, I know I want this energy or that, but there's all sorts of other things, maybe some other light that wants to come in. So how you do that is real simple. You can just open up to that. Just imagine the space in yourself at a vibrating into gold. Please don't do white. Everyone goes, oh, I white light. That kind of freezes energy. It's it's not really, it's a protective thing in very special cases. You don't need to go, white light is not the answer, okay? Um, I know some of you are white supremacists that way, but that's not the answer. It's just use a golden light is there any, and let it come in and fill up the space, fill up you. So if I do that right now, I'm just doing it simply. You'll want to take a little bit more time. My energy is being filled up with, like, um, certainty. The energy that the vines give me is you need to be a little more certain, Andrew. And it's filling up the room with many different colors. Um, but it's um, sort of like a space where everyone's going to be supported and great work will be done. But I see that's coming in the four or five different colors because each person that works in here needs a little different vibration but it's filling it up. And then the gong, let's see if anything's having the instruments. Really filled up with a, with a really beautiful kind of light aquamarine blue in here that it'll go to the right person. This gong will go to the right person. That all the hard work and attention that went into making it and all the introduction to you, it'll go to that right person. So that was a very simple easy way to set up a room, but it's a conscious, energetic choice. And you may not even, the trick with it is experiment with this. Experiment just noticing how, what happens when you're grounded. Go into the room you're going to be in and ground it and change it and see what happens. You don't have to do it right away because I've got, I practice with it a couple times. And hopefully um, you'll uh, have some fun with this. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or uh, experiences you want to share, please get back to us and let us know. But it's a simple way to do it. And the more you do it, the more practice you'll get at it and the higher vibration you get. Imagine if you're setting the room higher vibration, how many more people, if you had students coming in or how many more changes people can make. It's a really, you're creating a safe grounded space that's blessed for people to, uh, to get a healing and I hope that's kind of why you're into doing gong healings, sound healings. If I had a hat, I would tip it, but we'll just say thank you.